out of 500 snails, you can make 1.5 million Ghana cities, you can make 68.5 million Naira, and you can make about $150,000 from just 500 snails. Hi, hello, this is KT Samuel, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Surprisingly, today uh, I happen to be indoors. I'm not, I'm not on the farm today, so it's a different environment. <laughs> but um, so I've been getting a lot of uh, questions being asked me here on YouTube. People call me, and usually the first few questions they ask me, one of the top three actually, they ask whether snow farming is profitable or it's um, marketable. They also want to know what's, I mean, the fact on the market. You know, so today I'm here to discuss all of that, get seated and make sure you watch this video all throughout so that you can appreciate everything that I'm about to share with you. I also want to give shout out to um, all the people who reach out to me. It's been overwhelming. It's um, very beautiful. Um, I think about a month ago, an 80 year old boy called me from Medina and said that he has, he has watched my uh, my videos and it's motivated him to go into snow farming. He showed me cute pictures of, of um, his farm in Medina using tires and all of that. I was ready to nurture him. Some of these kids, I trained them for free. I'm very excited when they call me and tell me that I am the motivation behind the reason why they went into agriculture. It is very, very exciting. I also want to give shout outs to the people who have reached out to me, even outside Ghana. I've trained a couple of people in other neighboring countries in Africa, but it's very exciting when I get calls from places like Lithuania. Very, very exciting. So um, I get very excited when you guys reach out to me. A few days ago, somebody also reached out to me, a 15 year old girl who has just completed junior high school and says that she's eager to go into snow farming i was excited to 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 meet her parents and speak to them over the phone and guide her it's very exciting that that the information is going that far and motivating people to go into a greek so thank you and shout out to you people let's get straight into the video and i hope you enjoy it anyway wait for the last part of the video where i explain into figures how much profit you can make if you stay into snow farming seriously between a year and two years. Now, yes, snow farming is profitable, but again, it is not the shortest way to make money. It's not a quick way to make money. Like I always say, um, you can make money out of snails, but it needs a lot of patience. You need to give yourself one and a half years, two years. And of course, anybody who does um, crop farming, people who do things like mango, cashew, uh, coconut, and all of that, these people would understand me when I say that two years is enough to wait to make a lot of money from, from agriculture. So it just de demands a lot of patience, waiting for two years for you to start breaking even and start making money. So it is not the quickest way to make money. However, I just want to share a few facts with you uh, on, on, on Snow Farm. And I'm, I'm going to be a bit biased when it comes to the figures because, of course, I'm in Ghana. So most of my figures would be, um, would be lean towards Ghana's figures. So I just wanted to share with you that in, in about 2003, a study was conducted and it showed that Ghana was, at the time was consuming about 15,000 tons of snails. 15,000 tons of snails. You know the funny thing? The funny thing is that out of this, fig this figure that I just mentioned, Ghana was importing 13,000 tons out of the 15,000 into Ghana to consume. You see, so it is crazy. And that's why every time there's a dry season, there's always a huge spike in the prices because obviously Ghana imports most of our snails, you know. Um, in 2021, Ghana exported $68,000 worth of snails. Ghana exported $68,000 worth, uh, worth of snails, which is very, very low. You know, currently countries like France, Spain, Italy, Romania, and America are one of are the top five snail importers. I mean, they 
they import snails into their country so it's a good uh, place to look at if you are thinking to export snails um, in 2021 France was able to import a huge amount of 17 million dollars worth of snails into their country I mean obviously they there are species that they are interested in but all again obviously the Akatina Akatina and Akatina Maginata that we we found in um, this sub region would always have a, a percentage share in that 17 million dollars. So it's something to look out for. I also wanted to state the 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 fact that Ghana currently is exporting most of its snails to UK and Canada. Actually, we're exporting to UK two times what we are exporting to Canada. So. Um, it's i mean canada is also i mean sorry uk is also a place that you can focus on if you are thinking to export because currently they have the biggest share of exports of snails that are coming out of ghana our biggest snail providers i mean countries that we import snails from um it's Cote d'Ivoire. so they are they are they're just our neighbors and then they provide a huge amount of the snails that we consume here in Ghana. These are some of the facts on the ground. And so with all these figures and, and facts, you can, I mean, adjust your thoughts and then reprogram and plan if you want to go into snail farming. So uh, people ask me, how, how am I going to sell my snails? So, well currently there's a new company called miller company limited what they do is that they buy they buy snails from the farmers and then they, they have sellers in the database where they sell the snails to so if you're a snail farmer you can reach out to them i'll put their numbers uh, up here and then you can reach out to them uh if you're a farmer you can call them they'll put you in their database and anytime they have a demand they'll reach out to you even if you currently do not have snails, you can let them have your name in, in their database. And if you're a buyer, if you want to stock up your farm, they go to the, 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 the farmer's place to make sure they're getting quality stock for you. If you're exporting to, they make sure they go there and see that they are getting quality snail meat for you. So that, I mean, both, both, um, both parties in the transaction are satisfied. So that is with, with, with one of the ways you can sell. Currently, there are intermediaries, people who buy from farmers and sell. But again, be careful of scammers. There are people who know that, let's say, a 250 gram of snail costs 30 CDs, but they will come buy from you about 15 CDs and they rip you off. I mean, that's why a lot of farmers are suffering. So make sure you call the right people who are not going to rip you off and then stay away from scammers. Currently, snails, with snails, you don't have to wait for them to be three-year-old, um, two-year-old before you sell. The good thing is that currently people are beginning to um, appreciate small snails, especially when it's used for kebab and all of that. So the snail meat is, a, is, a, is, is, is really selling. Even when your, your snail is three months, six months, eight months old, it can be converted to kebab and i mean a, a, a well-fed snail at the age of eight months needs to be cut into two to be able to be sizable to to fit into somebody's mouth so it's a good way um people are buying three months old snails uh, six months old snails for kebab if you travel on the on the akosombo road you'll realize that it's always on the street that you can easily purchase so it is a good thing now you don't even have to wait for too long you, it's 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 selling the snail meat currently also you can convert and add value as a lot of people are already doing people are, are turning them to dried snail smoked snail uh, salted snail frozen and all of that and it's really selling because a lot of people cannot um they do not want to spend time taking the snail out of its shell so if you do that for them package it bag it and then get um, a shop to freeze it up for you and sell now it's really selling and then the fact is that if you compare snail meat 
to that of all the other sources of protein i mean chicken turkey beef and all of that snail has the highest amount of protein yes the highest amount of protein and also relatively the lowest amount of cholesterol so it is the best source of snail meat currently that i think that if you convert it to the meat even you get a lot of buyers you know that because of the high demand the prices are very are very high and also uh, if you if you add value by deshelling them i mean you can increase the the prices and it's selling i have a friend in the uk and he has been on my neck for some time now he's been asking for me to do exports to the uk and he took a, a quick tour on his street in london to ask a, a couple of the african store and the place where you can get african grocery he found out that he visited about 10 grocery stores and then realized that not a single of them had snow stock not a single of them and three out of at least the 10 that he visited were ready to take his number and they were buzzing his phone after his visit so it means that there's the demand is even out there but i mean even the demand locally is huge to the extent that a lot of farmers are not even doing exporting and that's why our exports last year was just $68,000, which is very, very minimum. So uh, this is to inform us that the market out there is, is, is also in deficit, so we can look out there and export. The next thing I want to talk about is the snail slime. Now the snow slime, I've seen that a brother in Nigeria is extracting it. Kudos to him because um, the snow slime, I always say, is the most um, biggest commodity when it comes to even the snail. You can get more money from the slime than even the, the meat or the shell. So currently people are extracting the slime. Initially, we used to kill the snails and extract the slime, but now we have machines that just give the snails a little shock. You know, when they when they give off that slime, it's a, it's a defense mechanism. So that slime is collected from this machine and uh, it's, it's, it's used in, in, in beauty cosmetics. So if you check online on Alibaba and Google, you can check slow, snail slime creams. And it's believed, not believed, it's tested and proven that if it's used in creams um, for people who have had accidents, it has strong healing um, um, properties. So um, if you have anybody who has a huge scar after an, uh, after an accident, they can use it on, on the scar and it will go away. So it's a huge commodity. I think that in one of my videos, I even mentioned that the last time I checked the price, a jar, a jar, sorry, a jar of snail slime was costing around $5,000. So it's good money. And this is an opportunity for me to say that we need a lot of people to partner. Sometimes you can't do everything on your own. Let, let us partner. If you, if, you, if you want to do it, partner with other people who want to also go into it and let it become big. And that's, I mean, for me, I believe there's, there's power in partnership. So please partner. As Africans, let's come together, partner, and then uh, create a value chain in, in the whole snail business. Now the snail shell. The snail shell, a lot of people um, turn it into powder to feed it to the snails. Aside that, it has other properties. Actually, if you bag it and you put it on the shelf, people will buy it for other reasons, for medicinal purposes and other beliefs, all sort of things. I forgot to mention with the slime, the slime, a small bottle like that, a small bottle like that, full of the slime here in Ghana, some, even some remote, remote parts of Ghana cost around 150 cities. So it's good money. So I was talking about the shell. So the shell, if you, if it's turned into powder, it has um, a huge amount of calcium. So even uh, herbalists like to use that. Um, to mix with your medication and all of that it also sells a lot if you have powdered snow shell on, on on the shelf it sells quickly look the demand is so much that sometimes i get out of stock and then i ask other snow farmers sometimes i ask about there's a whatsapp group full of 200 snow farmers I put it there and I, I don't get any response. Anybody willing to sell? 
not i wouldn't say willing but they do not have stock to sell so the demand is there um some people also have the the notion that um it looks like now everybody's going to snow farming is that true but you see it could be true and untrue and the fact of the matter is that there's something that differentiates people who are going into business there are real entrepreneurs and people who are just going into it because they heard it's profitable so what differentiates us is that the people who are true businessmen are able to stand the test of time two years three years go through all the challenges and then they start making their money and there are people who you see them rushing into it and then in three months six months a year they give up and then that's all a couple of people too they are they are being infiltrated by false information so they end up losing all their snails and they give up over i mean after a short period currently well the good thing is that we realized that in 2021 there was a decrease in the import of snails into ghana so it means that yes we have a couple of people going into it but also um, with my experience i know that a lot of people go into it and then they are not able to continue after a short period so do not do not feel frightened by the numbers that you see on youtube commenting the number of views and every, it looks like everybody's going into it and all of that Trust me, even the people who put content here on YouTube, um, if, you, if you've been through proper snail training, you'd realize that most of them are even doing the farming wrong. I've seen people farming snails in, on shelves. Shelves. Farming snails on shelves. And, and these people are teaching people on YouTube. So it informs you that if you do the right thing, you are, you are going to have um, a high uh, profit margin as compared to these people who are doing it wrong. So do not be frightened at all. The market is there and we still have a deficit. We still need a lot of people to go into snail farming. One way that I'm helping the industry myself is that everybody that has been through my training session, whether through Zoom, whether uh, by coming to one of my farms, I put them in a WhatsApp group. It is not it is not false, but the people who want to socialize, we put them in a WhatsApp group where we discuss snail um, and related issues. If somebody discuss, uh, dis uh, discovers new snail feed, they put it there, we, we, we discuss it, we, we put a test to it, we see if there's any mortality, and then we roll it out because we're always trying to look out for ways to mitigate um, the high cost of feed. You get it? So we discuss all of those things there. We also, for instance, if, if you have a high demand, uh, for instance, somebody needs a 3,000 snails and then you can only supply 1,000, you put it there, and other people who want to join you and supply will join you and supply. So that is how I'm also trying to join, um, support the people who are going into snow farming to create a community. And I feel like if we're able to create that, that community, would we'll also be able to even influence the snow price so that people would not try to cheat us because sometimes it fluctuates when it starts raining this the the prices will drop a little bit and then when it's, when when it's dry season it goes all the way high when it goes all the way high too sometimes it, it affects um and buying so if we're able to control the market price if we come together as a community and we are all in a group and discuss it helps so that is my initiative and i have put these people in a whatsapp group and i think that is a good idea Finally, I want to do some calculation with you, but I will not be going into details. I only do the detailed calculation with the people that happen to be in my trainings, right? So I just want you to know that we are putting in place all the necessary metrics. The fact is that snails lay between five or six times in a year. But when we are doing our calculation, or oh, we are we are we are training people we like to use just twice a year so that the newcomers do not get disappointed when the snails lay three times or four times or just twice so usually we mention they lay twice they actually lay five times to six times and in 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 this calculation that i did i just used two um um lanes a year to do my calculation so i also use the barest minimum I mean, in, in terms of the number of eggs that the snails will be laying, I also took in, into consideration the provision of mortality. So in all my calculations, I subtracted mortality, 20% uh, mortality, about three times before I arrived with the figures that I'm about to mention to you. I also used an average of 10 cities 
uh, per snail when you are selling the snails with this calculation now my figures uh, it shows that if you start your farm with 100 snails in about a year to two years you should be expecting 307,200 Ghana cities in profit after selling your snails yes that is the fact if you start your farm with just 500 snails and you take good care of these snails and even with the fact that i've taken out this 20 percent mortality 20 percent mortality 20 percent mortality you are still looking at earning 1.5 million ghana cities after let's say two years 1.5 million ghana cities if i'm to convert that to naira for my for my viewers in nigeria to understand you are looking about 68.5 million naira yes that's what you should be looking at oh that is if you're farming akatina Gatina. sorry nigerians farm marginata i mean with marginata they lay a, a lower number of eggs so you would not be getting these figures that i'm mentioning but if you're farming akatina katina that Ghanaians find more as a delicacy you are looking at 68.5 million naira also if i realize that most of my viewers are from the u.s actually a high number of my viewers are from the u.s so if you're to convert this figure to u.s dollars we're looking at about one hundred and fifty three thousand um, dollars after two years which i think is is good investment um a lot of a lot of um people working in the u.s make around seventy thousand eighty thousand dollars per annum so if you are getting one hundred and fifty three thousand dollars let's say after two years of waiting and this is something that's going to continue right then it is good money if you're looking at going into snail farming with a thousand snails a thousand snails you are looking at getting 30 million ghana cities plus after let's say two years so that's why sometimes i get very concerned when the the bearers of a greenhouse snow farmers say that they want to start their farm with 500,000 snows. 500,000 snows for what? For what? You're using 500,000 snails just because a lot of them will be dying. And that's why you feel comfortable farming 500,000 snails at the start. Why? I mean, if you if you start your snail with these small figures that I've mentioned, you can see that it rips in a good amount of money and so if you're starting your farm with even 5,000 snails and you have to employ let's say 10 workers it is still worth it because if after after paying them these salaries you're still left with a lot of money to keep for yourself a huge profit margin so what is what is your problem there's a lot of money in it and all these figures that i've mentioned it is when you do the right thing it is when you have a, a good farming house system when you're not doing greenhouse it is when you are doing the train system because the train system you're able to control every single thing every single thing so if you are using the right um, um, practices if your workers do not disappoint you and then they take good care of these snails mind you we have taken out 20 percent mortality about three times so that's the worst case scenario though but the reason why a lot of farmers are not getting these figures that i mentioned is because the snails are dying the mortality rate is high there are people who are having 60 percent 70 percent mortality rate even in greenhouses a lot of them are having 80 percent mortality and all of that and and they are not able to even find out because sometimes they do not even find the the dead the dead snail shell at all because other snails feed on the on the empty shell so and if you're doing the train system you realize that sometimes if you if there's a little negligence you come back and you realize that the shell is there's a dead snail and then um, um it, the shell has been consumed by another an, another snail and you come back to just half of the shell so in a greenhouse where there's not a lot of control over there you know that hundred snails could have died but the other snails will just finish the shell and you will not even come to the empty shell so you'll be thinking that your, your mortality is around five percent it's actually not not it's actually not at all so you can achieve these figures if you are doing the right thing if the workers understand what they are doing it's essential that you take your workers through proper training let them know what they are doing let them know the effects of the decisions they take i have i have seen farms where the workers go a week without farming sorry without feeding the snails because somebody told them snails can survive if they don't eat for three days i mean so all these things are going on if you do the right thing 
and then you stay around 20% mortality. Usually the normal mortality rate is 10%. So if you stay even around 20% mortality, it is possible that you can achieve the figures that I've mentioned. Now, I believe that you've had a lot of information. I mean, there's a lot more we can discuss, but today this is where the time will limit us. I wanted to, I wanted to keep this video as short as possible. I think that it has gone beyond the limits that I set for myself. So, um, thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel. Um, when you subscribe and like, it actually goes far and it, it helps to inform other people who are being misinformed. Check out my other videos so that you get informed on other things as well. And please let me know, even if it's in the comment section, let me know what you want me to discuss next on this channel. Also, this is my email address and you can reach out to me and this is my phone numbers you can call me and then we can have discussions i do trainings on zoom there are people who come over to the farm you can join us and then we can have trainings subscribe to this youtube channel i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions you can call me reach out to me put it in the comment section let's talk about it have a great day and happy new year happy new year bye <laughs> Yes. <laughs>